guys and welcome to this ballet's last video. Today I'm going to be working on exercises for beautiful ballerina arms. As always we've got six exercises, you're going to repeat them four times. So I'm going to do the first set with you and then for three more sets go back to the beginning of the video and watch it three more times to complete your exercise workout for this week. So let's get started, we're going to stand up and start with some swan arms. For swan arms, you're coming in to meet your hands above your head, pulsing for two and pressing down with a flex of the hands. When it comes for a pulse, it's slightly in front of your head, keeping your body weight over and forward. And then you need to really engage that core as you press the arms back because they're going slightly behind your body, as you can see. So you're pulsing up for two and pressing down. Look down for the pulse up and then look up as you press down. So you're alternating the way you look to where your hands are going really feeling the squeeze of the shoulder blades as you press down, engaging that core and supporting that spine. Make sure that you're not rocking back. You want a straight spine, very much like how we do plies. So you want to feel that your core is engaged, your glutes are squeezing, and your turnout is really quite definite. So you want to make sure the knee and the toe is stacked in the right position. Keep pushing those knees out, squeezing those glutes, core nice and engaged. You've got five more seconds. Keep on pulsing here. Make it really defined, you've got one more. Take a 15 second break and we'll move on to the next exercise. For the next exercise, we're in the same position, doing a double pulse in fifth, coming back to the first. What you want to feel is that when you come back to the first that you're really re-engaging your abs and thinking about where your core is at. Because the double pulse is slightly behind the head, you want to make sure that body weight is still keeping forward and you're not going into an arch of the spine. So really stay strong and supported through that core. We've got another 30 seconds, so start to think about your turnout. Drill that big toe into the floor and try and push your knees slightly further back whilst keeping the core engaged and the arms nice and strong. Stay long through the spine, so really feeling that you're anchoring through the floor and that's allowing you to grow through the core. On the exhale, deepen the connection with the abs. So keep on breathing, inhale, exhale, deepening the connection with the abs, feeling like they're dropping in between your legs. Keep on going with the pulses, staying strong. Arms should be nice and wide. You're done. 15 seconds and we'll move on to the next exercise. The next thing we're doing is a plank with a fifth position of the arms, alternating each arm at a time. So you really want to make sure as you lift up the arm that you're coming up the longest route so that you're not shortening the body. So really feel that you're reaching the arm longer to lift it up. You want to keep your core nice and engaged, your glutes squeezing and pressing through those heels to keep the length of the hamstring. Keep the neck nice and long, so look a little bit in front of you. Keep on breathing and again on every exhale, make sure you're deepening the connection with the core. The easier version is just coming onto your knees, equally very, very tricky. So make sure you do the same technique of lengthening the arms up, exhaling, engaging the core. Again, squeeze the glutes here and you can point your feet ever so slightly just to connect with the back line of your legs. It's up to you whether you take the easier version or the hard version. We've only got five seconds left, keep on breathing supporting that spine. One more, you're done. 15 seconds break and we'll move on to the next exercise. The next exercise is a side plank with a port de bras. So you're coming all the way over, making a semicircle with the arm looking at the hand the whole way. So you're following it over on the semicircle and then looking down at your supporting arm as you pull the bra over. Really make sure that, again, you're not twisting. You wanna keep those hip bones in the same line, squeezing the underneath glute on the up to hold the position, using the exhale to reconnect with the abs, dropping them lower down towards the feet, making sure that you're really strong through that shoulder so you're pressing up to gain a little bit more height 
you can use that supporting elbow, so make sure you remember that. Again, really use the port de bras, keep on breathing. Only 10 seconds left, you're nearly there, squeezing at the top and lowering down, connecting with the abs. Two more seconds and you're done. 15 seconds off and you'll go on to the next exercise. The next exercise is a reverse plank with a passe. So you want to make sure that your hands and your shoulders are stacked underneath each other. You want to bring up one leg at a time and you're drawing it up the supporting foot. So you want to make sure that you keep that connection for the full time. You're drawing up, you're squeezing your glutes at that top position and you're coming down, drawing the foot down the leg. Really squeeze that core, looking up. Make sure you don't look directly above your head. You want to look slightly forward just to keep that length of the spine in the neck. If your neck starts to hurt in this position for any reason, just gently tuck it into the chest ever so slightly more. Keep on drawing it up, squeezing at the top position. Make sure that your supporting glute is squeezing more than ever. And you're pressing into the floor with the outside of your foot. You've got four more seconds, keep on breathing, and you're done. Nice work, 15 more seconds. The next exercise is a ponche, kind of like a downward dog, coming to a passe in the plank position. So you're driving forward, moving forward on the arms, so you're kind of hinging forward. You want to really feel the connection with the palms. They're going to press and help you move forward. You're ever so slightly twisting to come and meet your elbow to your knee. If you can't get there, don't worry. Just squeeze the glutes and then press back out. Really use the exhale to reconnect with the abs here. It's really important because it's quite a dynamic movement. If you're exhaling and you're tapping and then you're driving back up, reaching the foot to the ceiling. Keep on breathing here, pressing through the supporting foot, making sure that you almost feel like you're getting quite a nice calf stretch. Pushing back out, abs engaged, nearly there. Keep on breathing, looking to the side that your ponche leg is coming in at. Twisting, using the obliques, you're nearly there, keep on going. You can hold it for a second in each position and you're done with round one. Nice jog, 15 second break, take a breath. If you've only done these exercises once, it's time to go back to the beginning and do them three more times and complete all four repetitions. I hope you guys have enjoyed this ballet blast arm workout and you feel your arms are really long, clean and lengthened. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comments what kind of workouts you'd like to see on my channel soon. And I will see you here next week. Thank you guys. See you soon.